Hi, I'm Marnie. This is my friend Malia. We're outside my building and we're gonna day trip. So how did you meet Malia? I have a friend named Josh Fadum, who's a comedian, and he lives in LA. And Josh was on the Fuck Yeah tour that Malia was on, doing I comedy. Tour We're on our way to 30th Street Guitars to pick up my favorite Fender in the world. Robbie, who I was on tour with, said, <coughs> I think it's bowed which means, you know, you're sort of screwed. We were practicing on 30th Street for this tour, and across the street was a guitar shop. So I thought, okay. So I brought it in, and they were like, yeah, this is fine. We just have to, you know, do a little work. But I lost the ticket, so we're going to have to work some magic to get it back. So what's your plan to get it back? BJ? <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. A guitar I left here a long time ago. Stern. 30th Street Guitars, yeah. You wanna check it out? Yeah. Yay! Uh oh. You couldn't hear it, it was like deadened this whole area right here. And now it's not. Now there's gotta be something else I need here. I have very good luck with these. I don't like thin, I don't like thick. For some reason, the Dunlop make right, really good middle ground. Yes, I live on credit, and that's no lie. Okay, let's go spend some more fake credit money on Pro Tools. I wonder if I can tell the um, Sly Stallone story. Okay, so here's the Sly Stallone story. Basically, a friend of a friend worked sound on the movie, which sounds like the Richard Gere thing, but this is not. Sly Stallone is working on one of his movies about 15 years ago, and at the time, I guess he was notorious for having hookers in his trailer. And he leaves his microphone on by accident when he goes into the trailer. And so he's with the hooker, and so the sound guys can hear what's going on in the trailer. Oh, wait, let's see if I can proceed. Well, she's yes. in a text asking permission. She oh, show, sure. okay. she's like telling me the details. Okay, so it was Judge Dredd was the movie. So he goes into the thing, his microphone is still on, so all the sound guys are listening around the booth to him. And he's with the hooker and all he keeps saying over and over is, work the shaft, cradle my balls, say my name. Over and over. <laughs> Work the shop, cradle my balls, say my name. So my friend <laughs> thinks it's so fucking funny. She went to Chinatown to go have pillows embroidered, three pillows. <laughs> and so she's at the, at the shop and the Chinese guy doesn't know, you know, what it says. So he's screaming in the shop, where you want cradle my balls? Here? You want cradle my balls here? Work the shaft. You want work the shaft here? She's like, okay, yeah, there. Mm. And so then she had three <laughs> pillows embroidered for them and gave it to them. Amazing. That's hilarious. Say my name. Okay, so we're in Williamsburg, most awesome place ever. We're going to try and find some Pro Tools for me that doesn't cost $68,000. I need an M-Box. Why is the Pro better? It doesn't have the, the VIP or no, the, I mean, it has a bunch of, um... Does it have the Steve Vai preset? I don't. 
think so. Then. So, but then I just purchased that. Yeah, you just go, you can go to like Digi Digi Designs website and under um, like obviously like the more memory you have, the faster the tracks and the faster it'll run. Okay, I can't think about this, so I'm just gonna get this and then not think about it. Let's just hope that credit card goes through. How hard is it to declare bankruptcy? We got the Pro Tools. First card declined, second card went through. Uh-huh, magic is on our side. And now we're going to go have some lunch in the East Village. Something happens on the tour where you end up talking, or I end up talking about poop all the time. Oh, and the aristocrats, of course. I liked Whoopi Goldberg's one. Hers was... Why don't you do one? Mine are really foul. Okay, so this is the aristocrat that I've been doing lately. I can't believe I'm doing it sober, but I'm doing it. I'm gonna take my <laughs> pinky finger. I'm gonna put it in the bum of my dog. She's gonna go, oh! Then she's gonna be propped, and I'm gonna spin her around my hand, and she's gonna be going, er, er, er. And I'm spinning her like a pizza. I throw her up in the air. Then she comes down. She lands on the bath mat and poops because she's nervous. Then the other dog comes and licks the poop. Then I start Frenching the other dog. I'd say, I'm doing a show, everyone. Does anyone want to kiss? I kiss someone. They taste the, the, the poop. They throw up on the table. Somebody slides on the floor and breaks their leg, and they break their leg off, and then take their leg and put it in my vagina. And then they start pulling, putting, pulling their leg in and out of my vagina. And then all the people standing around say, my God, that's a fabulous show. What do you call yourselves? And I say, the aristocrats. So now we're going to have some food, parentheses, happy hour, at a restaurant in the East Village, the Sidewalk Cafe. You know I smoke so much that I'm out of breath currently. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. So I think it's beer time. It's beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. I have to... It's Miller time. You want to order drinks? Can I have a whole garden? Sure. I'll have a whole garden no, we really know each other through... Through Jim. Jim, the drummer of the band. And, uh, but then there are other people, a lot of other people that we know in common. We have a lot of fun. We're tripping. <laughs> and then the talent agent says, well, that's a crazy show. What do you call it? The aristocrats. Right. Wait, That's I should have mentioned what's his face's wife. I took Heather Mills' fake leg and put it up my vagina. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the photographer? All right, where's, where's the check? That's a we are going to a photo shoot now, and we're doing it in my apartment. And we should be there any minute after our long day. And now longer there. So sorry. We had tons of traffic. Hi. Hi. Animals of the house. There are babies ever. Look at Pooh. Look at that baby. None of them look like themselves because of this weird crazy grooming thing. As you can see, we sort of we're maneuvering into the contrasted new wave with um, Martha Stewart living. I think that's what we're going. We're staying right with this. Thing. Yeah, there you go, a little more attitude.
aristocrat. A liquor and a lover. The aristocrat. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. We'll see if we can get the real thing. Whoa. And I look thin. I really like it. A you lot. do? I like okay. it a lot. Okay. Good. 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 <laughs> okay. We did it. And I'm gonna tell you what we did today. We f***ed <laughs> up. A f we f***ed up. That was in Brooklyn. And we came back to the city. We ate. <laughs> and we came. <laughs> we did the whole. You did it all. Right, Piggy? Woo, 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 woo! Okay, bye! Bye! Like, Get the fuck out! Nice! <laughs> 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 <laughs>